Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. This is the twenty-third episode of the Basic Practice Teaching Series, a series aiming to help you practice some basics of the internal styles of martial art, Xiu Dao, and Qi Gong. Today's video will introduce a Bagua posture called Shi Zi Zhang Kou, or Lion Opens Mouth, a static posture to practice coordination between hands, upper and lower body parts, foot stepping and arm posture, and so on. Shi Zi Zhang Kou is used in Bagua circle walking. As mentioned in prior videos. The term static does not mean you do not move at all. On the contrary, the upper body maintains a static posture while walking in a circle. Even more importantly, the arms in a static posture are not completely static, but have certain subtle motions in order to reflect the martial intent of this exercise. This is the key aspect that you should keep in mind while working on this exercise. So please pay attention while watching this video, and I will point out the necessary details while correcting the practice demonstrated by my student Yang Mao. An important detail worth noting is that while changing direction along the circle, the hip and the waist. Should be the key areas initiating the turning. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Hello. Today, I will work with my student Yang Mao to demonstrate a Bagua movement. It is a static posture, but like we mentioned before, that we should have a dynamic approach in the static posture. So let him demonstrate the first. Then I correct his practice. Then at the same time, mention some important principles. So now you can start from、uh, that's this posture, Shi Zi Zhang Kou. Yes, lion opens the mouth. Continue. Okay. Now you change the direction. One, two. Three. Okay, please come back at here, and、uh, let's start from this posture. Yes. First of all, it's a single,、uh, single static posture. So, and also this practice the opening closing motion between the, with the palms. Second, the here should have a drilling motion. So elbow sinks downward, finger have the drilling motion. Third, focus on the coordination between. The two hands. It's it's separate, but we have a coordination between them. So sometimes open, sometimes close. Yes. So round the bike, and when you walk, the height extend upward. Yes. So when you walk, maintain the same structure, have a this subtle movement, small motion. Yes. Let's continue. Okay. And the, the back shoulder extend downward a little bit more and extend forward, the back hand. Yes. Then change side. One, two, three. So in the at the changing motion, try to wave the chest. The chest, you see, wave a little bit at here. One, two, three. Then change. You see. Continue. Let's continue. Round the bike. The left palm extend further. Make the circle smaller. Otherwise, you'll be out of the the the, the video. Continue. Come back to here. To here. Then change. One, two. Make the height extend upward. Okay, like turn. One, two, three. Height extend upward. Not the lean forward. Right. Continue. Then round the back. Now let's come back. Keep that posture. I corrected the posture. So I have a drilling motion. Elbow sink down higher a little bit. Here open. Coordinate between here. Then round the back. Sink down the shoulder. Knee point toward the same direction as the toe. And then here sinks downward. 
make here solid, like this motion. Then, thank you. I hope you all find this video beneficial to your practice. Thank you for watching. See you next time and enjoy your practice.